Join us on the Low Code Revolution. We're going to be joined by Brian Boyer and Gaston Cruz. We're going to be showing us how we can create actionable financial reports with the Power Platform. This is going to show us how to use Power Apps, Power BI, Power Automate, and Azure Synapse integration. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to the Low Code Revolution. I'm your host, April Dunham, and we have a special treat for you today because we have not one, but two guests. We're joined by Brian Boyer and Gaston Cruz. Hey guys, welcome to the show. How are you doing? Hey April, how are you? Nice to, <laughs> nice to be here yeah, again. happy to be here. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Why don't you give everyone just a little intro about yourself, what you do, and all that? Go ahead, Brian. Oh, thanks, Gaston. Yeah, so I'm Brian Boyer, a principal consultant at Slalom. I do all things Power Platform, been working with it for a few years now, but I, yeah, basically do anything and all that our customers need to do. Okay, my name is Gaston Cruz. I'm director for the Microsoft Center of Excellence, uh, working uh, basically with the data and AI. I'm also Microsoft MVP in the data platform world and uh, helping user groups and global communities. Happy to be here again with you, April. Awesome. I'm so happy to have you here. Some of our great MEPs in the community. So I'm super excited for the uh, topic that you have today because you built something pretty cool for financial reporting using kind of like all facets of the Power Platform. There's some Power BI involved. I understand Power Apps, Power Automate, and even Azure Synapse integration. So would love to hear a little bit more about the backstory of this solution. Where did the need come from? How did you settle on the Power Platform and the architecture and all that? Would you like to walk me through that? Sounds yeah. great. Yeah, I've got a, uh, a few slides here prepared, but ultimately, Gaston, let's let's kick off with the Azure Synapse side of things, which is really interesting. Yep, I can do that. You know, I can I can start kind of a little bit of story around kind of a synapse, and this is kind of a conversation that we've been having with multiple clients in terms of understanding a little bit of you know synapse. Uh, basically, it's not just data warehousing; it's kind of a de designed for analytics workloads that you can scale uh, if you want to do AI, machine learning, IoT projects, intelligent apps, data analytics streams. So there's a whole synapse analytics studio coming for the data engineer, data scientist. So you can combine multiple languages. You have a whole developer experience with local platforms uh, available in Synapse. You can actually combine different languages like uh, T-SQL, Python, .NET, Java, Scala. You can integrate different platform services for management, security, meta stores. And behind the scenes you have in Synapse, the whole concept of data lake storage, where you have uh, connections directly with the uh, uh, different link services. And it's amazing how you can connect Synapse right now with different uh, link services across different platforms. Uh, just to give an example, example, one of them is Dataverse, and you can connect directly with all the tables that you have in your Power Apps and your, your solutions in the low-code platform uh, and connect directly to sync up with the Synapse. So you don't need to kind of uh, do in kind of an integration pattern or core pattern to ingest data from Power Apps across Synapse. You have a whole integration between both platforms. That is amazing in terms of how the clients can rely in one single platform to have all in one single place. So in this case, what, what we came up with, uh, Brian, uh, in, in this solution is how you can connect actually Synapse with Power BI, with Power Apps, with Power Automate, directly sync up with a Synapse layer. And even if you need to kind of come up with an idea of, okay, let's land the data first of all to Azure Data Lake and then connect to other platform like Cosmos DB, if you have transactions layers or Azure SQL, or even you, you want to kind of automate the whole process connecting with uh, Azure DevOps, that is all available in Synapse and it's really easy to ramp it up with the whole and entire solution. So that is a little bit of the connectivity that we found uh, really, really grateful in terms of connecting Synapse with all these, these platforms. And I think, April, one of the most interesting things with the power of Synapse being out there, a, a new newish product that a lot of our customers are just barely dipping their toes into. I mean, th they want to integrate all these things together. And that's, you know, we hear more and more of our customers who are throwing all their data together in Synapse asking, can I plug into the Power Platform right on top of this? And that was kind of the unique challenge we we approached here. So 
with with a particular customer in the manufacturing industry. It came from the office of the CFO who said, we had this big effort. We got all of our SAP data from, a, you know, data from a variety of sources now in Synapse. Can we visualize our forecasts in Power BI? And can we make that Power BI data set actionable? So I think we're going to see more and more questions around that same uh, topic from, from Microsoft's customers, from our clients across the industry. Wow, this is very cool. I mean, Synapse, like you said, is something that's pretty new. I haven't seen a ton of you know case studies or, or projects with integrating that with the Power Platform. So really excited. Do you have any kind of a demo to show us of how this solution works? Yeah, right yeah. on. Absolutely. Uh, I'll share my screen here and we'll walk through uh, this report. So, you know, taking a look at this, this is what you would see, I think, stereotypically, a lot of these cash flow um, reports with a lot of forecasting data in here, you know, by company and organization may own several different companies. We've got the slicers by company. And you can see this waterfall chart over time, seeing how the cash is ending throughout time based on these forecasts. And this is all coming directly from Synapse. And in this scenario, you know, we're doing direct query to Synapse. But what you may not notice looking at this report is uh, over here in the in the lower right corner, we've embedded a Power Apps. And I think that when a lot of organizations are creating these reports, there's that need or desire from high up executives or from anyone really consuming these reports to interact with them. And in our case, the CFO said, well, I want the ability to put in a what if scenario and see how that's going to impact the um, cash flow forecast over time. So this is actually a Canvas app uh, embedded here and interacting with our Synapse data in the back end. And, wow. you know, you may not even see the difference there um, because it's integrated so, so natively. Yeah, I was going to say, I would have never guessed in a million years that that was a power app that looks like it's just native right in the dashboard. That's so cool. The best use of an integrated Canvas app that I've seen in a dashboard. Exactly. And, and you can make it look and feel exactly the same. So walking through a scenario here, the CFO may come in and say, I want to add a new what if scenario and name it, you know, stock buyback. So they're, they're planning to potentially buy back stock from investors. And if I look, I can choose the company and the quarter. So let's put it here in our fiscal 21 Q3 and put an amount in. So let's say we're planning, you know, $50 million of um, stock buyback here. So 50 million. And here's where the CFO can then choose. Do I want others who consume this report to see the scenario? Or am I just playing around with something I don't want the organization to uh, see in this report yet? And I can save this as a private scenario. And you see that as soon as I input it, this all refreshes, all of my, my uh, ending cash is updated. And you see this now, my stock buyback is now in here. This is the magic between direct query with Synapse, Power Apps actually triggering a Power Automate flow in the back end to um, update the, the report and the data set. And now I, as the CFO, can see how this uh, scenario is impacting my cash. Now, da Gaston can't see this scenario because we're also using role level security. Um, we're also doing some filtering in the Power App, but I, you know, this this solution all together is is just pure magic for the level of the CFO. What is what is great here is kind of a, the combination between the different uh, frameworks and tools that we are using behind the scenes in that Power BI report. Because as Brian mentioned, you know, the storage mode of having the data query that allow us to every time something happens in the back end, in this case, the Synapse layer is going to automatically refresh the Power BI report. And at the same time, when you create, Brian showed uh, briefly about that, you know, showing the kind of the creation of the what if scenarios, when he saved that triggers automatically all the process behind the scenes of the Power Automate. And then uh, from the Power Automate, it's going to trigger store procedures that is going to trigger automatically the, uh, the save or the write into the backend, in this case, the Synapse layer. This is this is amazing. You know what I love about it is from the the end user you know experience. It's just very streamlined, almost so elegant. You know, simple solution. But you would have no idea on the back end how much you know fusion dev scenarios with the synapse integrations and different data source being implemented and calling Power Automate to refresh data and integrated Canvas apps and all of that. It's a very sophisticated you know enterprise grade solution. But on the outside, it just looks very sleek and simplistic. It's really great use of all the Power Platform tools and some of 
the the pro code integrations that we have with Azure. Yeah, exactly. It you know it was kind of difficult for us to develop in the back end. Those integrations can be tricky, but you're right. From the front end, the, a, a level of a CFO who's maybe not tech savvy comes in and lands, and and to him it's or her it's just an experience that they're used to seeing and, and doesn't really require much training on that end. Um, I did want to show a little bit, it can be tricky doing data right back to Synapse, especially from a Canvas app. There is not at this point a direct write back from a, a Canvas app to Synapse. And so you end up integrating Power Automate a bit here and using a stored procedure. But just at a really high level, this would be our process diagram or architecture schema. When you land, you kind of walk through caching the Synapse tables. You can read directly to Synapse from a Canvas app. But then when you click the buttons, let's say you're over here creating a new scenario and you hit save, that's actually not going to do like a patch, which many people may be familiar with, a direct write into the Synapse table, but it's actually going to run a Power Automate flow that triggers that stored procedure and runs the CRUD operations on the table. That flow will both refresh, um, it'll, it'll write to the Synapse, and it will also trigger that Power BI refresh once it's all complete. So, you know, there even from the back end, like we mentioned, it can be slightly tricky to know exactly how to walk through this. But from the front end, you'd never know that this is what was happening. And I'll show a, a little bit that Power Automate flow. It is very simple, right? We just trigger it from Power Apps and then execute that stored procedure. And then we need to make sure that we're responding back to that Power App to let it know that the stored procedure is complete. That way we can refresh the Power BI data set. And on average, we found, you know, this is like a two and a half second max. So really performant, uh, you know, which you may not expect if you're used to running this stuff through custom dev type solutions. Yeah, wow, that's that's very fast. You know, two, under three seconds, you know, that's uh, extremely lightning fast there. And it really shows uh, Power Automate. I, we have to call it the, the glue that kind of binds everything together. So cool use of that to, to call that sort procedure and to run that back end process. So, amazing scenario. So question for both of you, uh, for people that are wanting to get started, maybe integrating Synapse with the Power Platform, do you happen to have any uh, documentation or any resources or things like that, or uh, maybe how they can get in contact with you on Twitter or anything like that if they want to get started? Yeah, I can start from there. You know, uh, there's a one great documentation that, that I that I saw in the, the Microsoft Docs that that allow us to understand kind of how to create an Azure Synapse link for Dataverse. That is kind of my go to to go first point uh, to start understanding how you can work together between Power Apps, Power Platform, and the Synapse layer, how you connect both of them. Uh, then the next for me is always the knowledge center in Synapse itself. The knowledge center is great in terms of how to start understanding the whole Synapse studio. Because I mentioned before, you know, uh, I've been talking with multiple clients in terms of understanding that Synapse is not just data warehouse in itself. It's much more around that. So to understand the whole environment of Synapse Studio and understanding the workspace concept, it's going to be great to kind of land into the Synapse Studio and go to the Knowledge Center there to understand how to start in that process. And of course, you can get my uh, Twitter uh, there, so you can you can connect with me. Yeah, likewise. I'm available on Twitter. You can hit me up. Uh, I think when it comes to these sorts of things where it's right on that cutting edge of integrating these technologies, it really can help to have the perspective of somebody who's walked through this sort of thing before. And of course, as Slalom, you know, we are a consultancy. We absolutely will always do an, an hour, you know, just look through and talk through with a customer free of charge. And if you look through AppSource, we're listed there as well. So our contact information is can be found through Microsoft AppSource. Well, this has been amazing. I really appreciate both of you coming on the show to show this very cool use case for the Power Platform and Synapse integration. Thanks so much. And we'll see you all on the next episode of the Low Code Revolution. <laughs> <laughs>